So, umpisahan natin ka agad. I'm pretty confident with this dish because I've been doing this a lot. Favorite ng family ko and whoever knows me very well. Charot. Anyway, just crack in two eggs into a bowl and whisk, whisk, whisk very hard. And then, nakikita nyo may butter dyan that would be useful in a bit. Just continue mixing this until medyo runny or watery na yung texture ng eggs and the white is not visible anymore. But just make sure not to over mix or over whisk the eggs. You'll know that if na over na, if medyo pale siya or mamutla yung itlog. Yeah, correct ba? Mamutla? Anyway, add in half of the butter. That's about half a teaspoon. No, half a tablespoon of butter. Continue whisking. And then add in the other half. The butter will help the eggs or your scrambled eggs to get really extra creamy without cream. Just make sure to do all these right before cooking. Wag yung gawin tong in advance because it is gonna be useless. Time to cook the eggs in a pot. I usually use a pot. You'll know why later. Because we're never gonna stop mixing this. Just add in some butter, about a teaspoon. Again, a tablespoon. Why do I keep saying teaspoon? And under low heat lang until it bubbles, like what you see here. And make sure to tilt your pan para it will be all covered with butter. Just like that, what I'm doing there. And once the butter completely melts, it's time to add in the eggs with some lumps of butter. Trust me, you'll need a lot of butter if you want some creamy texture of your scrambled egg. Now, once the eggs are ready in the pan, right after when it touches the heat or the pan or the pot, never stop mixing, never stop stirring. And from time to time, take it off the heat, especially when the sides will set, like what you see there, the gilid ng pan. And then mix it around as hard as you can, then put it back on the heat. Just do this probably five times. I'm not really counting. And just make sure not to be in a hurry if you're doing the scrambled eggs French style. Because my chef told me before in culinary school, perfect French scrambled eggs wouldn't be perfect if you're just gonna cook it for seconds. So at least probably 3 minutes, even up to 10 minutes. Depends on how many eggs are you cooking. Again, just observe the texture. It's getting thicker and thicker. Yan yung gusto natin. But remember, once magsiset yung side, scrape it off right away. And for the last time, remove from the heat. Make sure to stop cooking when you have this texture kasi it will still continue cooking in your pan. So just leave it there for a while. This is the time you will season your egg because you will season that in advance. It will turn gray. So just add a pinch of salt and pepper and we are done. That was not easy, but at least now you know. Look at that. That's creamy. Look at that. We didn't use cream, but that's creamy. So now you can just serve this in a bowl or in a plate, but it is perfect with toasted bread, especially sourdough or French baguette. But now you can just eat this right away. And trust me, this is the perfect scrambled eggs or the best scrambled eggs that you will ever have or eat. Top it off with paprika if you want. And green onions. That would be fine. That would be perfect. 